Hello everyone, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about bash continue and bash break statements. So if you have made it this far, it means that you're taking an interest and I want to congratulate you because you're one of the very few people who actually take action and who are keen and interested in their learning okay and improving their skills so if we talk about the break statement then the break statement is it basically terminates the loop and it would not do any more iterations while in the continue statement it does not break the loop it skips just one single iteration you would understand it better when we do the example so without a further ado let's jump into my computer and let me show you that what I actually mean when I talk about break and continue statement. Okay, so here you can see that I have my computer screen. I am in my desktop directory. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to open up the hello.sh file here. You can see that I have a for loop which starts from zero, which goes till 10. The continue statement, let's say that I want to write here, if i is greater than five, so then I just want to break. So what's going to happen that it's going to start running the loop, okay, looping through the loop. And when the I would become greater than five, it's going to be true, right? So when I become six, what happens is that six is greater than five. So it's going to terminate the loop. And of course, before terminating, it would execute the break statement, which would cause the termination of the loop. If we just press Control O, if we save it, if we go back here and if we run our script, you can see that we've got the value from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we just create a change here, let's say that if, I, if I do like if i is greater than 11. So what's going to happen that it is going to execute the loop uh, completely. So you can see that we have got from 0 to 10, okay? It would not go beyond 10, be not because we had a break statement, but because the condition is still 10, okay? So we have i is equal to or greater than, excuse me, i is equal to or less than 10. So that's why it has executed till 10. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to do the same thing with continue statement. So in the break statement, it would terminate the loop while in the continue statement, it would just skip a single iteration. Just, you know, remember these lines in the break statement, it would terminate the loop. Okay. No more iterations in the continue statement. There would be, there could be uh, multiple iterations. It would just skip the single iteration okay when the continue statement would be executed so now let's say that, that i write here i is equal then equal to three and i write here double pipes which means r and i write here another condition which says i is equal to let's say seven so instead of break we're gonna have here continue so the loop is going to run uh, until the value becomes three. It would execute the continue statement and it would not execute the loop. Okay. The echo statement that we have. So it would instead here when it would continue uh, execute this continue statement, instead of going ahead, it would go back here and it would start the process of looping in on the other hand, when it was looping regularly, it would execute this first, then it would check if it doesn't match, it would skip this and it would execute this echo i. When the value would become three, of course it matches here. So it would execute the continue and it would go back here instead of going here. When the value would become seven, it would do the exact same thing. It would execute the continue statement and it would not go here. It would come back right here. All right. So now let's just save it. Let's just go ahead. Let me just clear it. If I execute the script, you can see that we have 0, 1, 2. We do not have 3 because uh, it has been the continue statement has been executed. Okay. And it didn't echo I. 
And if we go here, we do not find 7 as well. So if you just basically clear it, and now let me just go ahead and let me go inside the hello file. And now what I'm going to do is that I am going to change these numbers just to verify if this thing works or not. So what I would do, I would just let's say if I write here 2 and if I write here 5 and if I basically save it, if I go back here, if I run my script, here you can see that we do not have to because it has the continue statement has been executed and now we do not have 5 uh, here as well. Okay, that's it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. You have learned something new. If you're not subscribed to our channel, consider doing so. Hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever we post our video. Like this video and comment down below uh, if you have any questions. We would love it hearing from you. Until next time, I will see you.